What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel with another Fan TV. Back at another video. Hey, look at the content of the video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Let the content of the channel go ahead, hit that subscribe button. So, Baker Mayfield has been officially traded to the Carolina Panthers. All right. And this is big, big news, man. And we know that with the Browns getting Deshaun Watson and things like that, Baker Mayfield has kind of been on the ropes between what's going to happen next. So, the Panthers trade for Baker Mayfield and they give up what's going to be a conditional draft pick. So, it will either be a fourth or a fifth round pick in, uh, I think, the 2024 draft for the for the Cleveland Browns, right? Now, for Cleveland, what does this mean? Okay, so for Cleveland, uh, they trade away the guy that they drafted them one overall, the guy that was supposed to change the franchise around, and obviously it didn't go that way. And he was up and down. He had some good moments, had some bad moments. Um, I can't say about Baker, he was tough. I can never deny his toughness. I think he got slightly overrated by Browns fans because he was the first competent quarterback that they had in a long time. So they kind of put a lot of hopes and dreams on him that probably wasn't fair for his talent level, okay? Um, Deshaun Watson. You got to talk about Deshaun Watson. Will he be spending for the year? Will he not? Um, I don't think it has much effect on as far as, you know, what, what the Browns think about the Deshaun Watson's decision coming up. I think that whether or not Deshaun Watson was suspended or not, Baker Mayfield was never going to play another game for the Cleveland Browns. We know Baker Mayfield's attitude. He When he feels disregarded, when he feels slightly disrespected, he doesn't. he's not going to respond to that. So to think that he was going to play for the Browns after releasing that letter and everything he did, no. Nah. Jacoby Brissett, whether Deshaun Watson is suspended for six to eight games or he's suspended for the entire season, in my opinion, Jacoby Brissett was always going to be the plan to be the starter at some point until Deshaun Watson could play, whether that's this year, whether that's next year. It was always going to be Jacoby Brissett. All right. Um, now, for Carolina, what does this mean? So now Carolina has Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield, both quarterbacks from the same draft, number one and number three in that same draft. And um, they're going to have a QB competition, right? A flat-out QB competition. But it's interesting because also they just drafted Matt Corral. Now, Matt Corral didn't go as a super high pick. Um, I think he might have went, you know, third round, third or fourth round, something like that. But it's still the fact that they just drafted a guy. Maybe he's not ready to play this year. But if I'm going to get Baker Mayfield on my team, then I'm going to – I have to be imagining that if he plays well, I'm going to pay him money. You know what I mean? He's on his fifth year right now. So if he plays well, he's going to be looking for a contract. So it's just an interesting move for the Carolina Panthers because it's like, well – you can say you're going to have a QB competition, and that's fine. That's great. But why why even have Matt Corral in the building? Because if, like I said, if Baker Mayfield or Sam Donald, whoever happens to win a job, happens to play well, are you going to really feel confident letting that quarterback go? Finding QBs is not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy task, right? And um, also, right, we'll see if he changes his tone. But Robbie Anderson, you know, funny enough, said, when asked about, I think it was like, not even asked about, I think it was like an Instagram post about um, the Panthers were interested in trading for Baker Mayfield. And he put no. He put like 10, 10 O's in there. He made it clear, I did not want to play for there. Uh, not want to play for Baker Mayfield. Right? And also, Robbie Anderson had the whole thing about retirement early and stuff like that, but I don't think he's going to do that. So, it, it is now Robbie Anderson a trade target. So, like me, I'm a Ravens fan, right? Would that be somebody that Ravens are interested in? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. But uh, so with Baker Mayfield, I think Baker Mayfield is, I think he's a above average quarterback, and I think that he is better than Sam Donald. Now, those two things aren't saying much, but in the NFL, it's hard to get good quarterback play. It's just not a lot of great quarterbacks lying around. So when a guy like Baker Mayfield becomes available, that's why he becomes such a prized and targeted asset just because – you just quarterbacks just don't grow on trees, you know. It's not like any uh, uh, other positions where you might say, "Well, this guy can fill in for right now." It's hard to say we can have a quarterback who can just fill in. It, the quarterback job is too noticeable. It's too noticeable. Um, Baker Mayfield, while I think he's a great competitor, he has to learn how I think to adapt to his teammates better. I think sometimes his attitude. Um, I, I like confidence. I like confidence. So don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those guys. So oh, be humble. Be confident in who you are. Who you are as a player has gotten you far. But I think sometimes it can run people the wrong way. You don't want to go so far over the edge where now your own teammates might not like you, right? And I think Baker Mayfield has to find that delicate balance of I'm confident, 
but you know, I'm still like by the end of the day. Because I think you have to have a certain level of confidence to play any sport at a high level. You gotta have a certain level of confidence. So this this trade is is, is big news, right? And um, for the AFC North, you know, for you know fans of teams in that division, um, I don't think it does too much, honestly. I think you know you still go in there into the season with the Ravens and the Bengals at the top two teams in the division, and you know Browns and the and the, uh, the Steelers, you know, fighting it out at kind of at the bottom right now. It's kind of a clear separation in my opinion. Um, that's just how it is. But it does make it clear for the Browns the fact that. Jacoby Brissett is going to be the guy at some point. He's going to play um, some amount of games this season. Like I said, whether Sean Watson is suspended six to eight games or for the entire season, Jacoby Brissett is going to play some amount of games this season. I think that's the that's one of the main takeaways from the Browns and from the and and I'm sorry and from the uh, Panthers side is you trade Baker Mayfield now the. The cost wasn't that high, right? Fourth round pick, fifth round pick, wasn't that high. But I kind of feel like, yeah, you can say the QB competition. You can say that. But it has to kind of be leaning towards Baker. You know what I mean? You traded for Sam Donald last year. While he started off the season well, he tailed off dramatically kind of around the time Christian McCaffrey got hurt. He tailed off dramatically. And it, it forced you to draft a quarterback and then trade for a quarterback. So how can a guy who, who played last year force you to make two separate quarterback moves have have the upper hand or even be in an even competition so it has to be making me for his job to lose in my opinion so uh it'll be interesting and then oh to top it all off i believe it's browns panthers week one so that's 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 crazy you know that's a perfect scheduling i think i saw somebody, saw somebody put on twitter and literally perfect scheduling so it's going to be get super interesting for Baker Mayfield, super interesting for the Panthers. Um, I think Baker Mayfield wins that job. He's the best quarterback that they have in the building right now. And, um, yeah, man, I don't think it does too much for the Panthers. I think they're still, you know, them and the Falcons are still well below the um, the Bucks and the Saints. They're still well below those guys. So I don't think it really does too much in terms of their division to getting Baker Mayfield. But at least Baker will be a guy who gets to play and gets a chance to earn a contract, you know. So we'll see if that works out for him, man. Uh, it's your boy, Gabriel. There's another fan TV. I'm out.